Hello, my name is Dr. Neil Baum. I'm a urologist in New Orleans, Louisiana. And I would like to take a few moments to discuss with you the testicle self-examination. In this video, I will discuss the purpose of testicle self-exam and the technique that I recommend that you use to examine your testicles on a regular basis. Now, why is the testicle self-exam performed? The routine testicle self-exam significantly increases your risk of identifying testicular cancer early when it's relatively easy to treat. The purpose of a testicular self-exam is to inspect the feel and appearance of your testicles. It is done by yourself in privacy, usually after a shower, and you can uh, identify testicular problems, specifically testicular cancer, but it also needs to be checked by a doctor if you identify a lump or bump in the testicle. The testicle self-exam is equivalent to the breast self-exam as performed by women on a monthly basis. There is no special preparation necessary for performing the testicle self-exam. The American Cancer Society recommends that all men beginning after puberty perform the testicle self-exam on a monthly basis. Now, How to perform the testicle self-exam? First of all, by inspection in a mirror and look for any swelling within the testicle. Use both hands and use the index and middle fingers under the testicles and the thumb on the top. And you gently roll the testicle between the thumb and the fingers below and you can identify any lumps or bumps within the testicle. The normal testicle has about the consistency of the base of the palm of your hand. If you feel something hard like your knuckle, that is a abnormality that should come to the attention of your physician. So if you feel any hard lumps or any change in the size, shape, or consistency of the testicle, you want to contact your physician or your urologist. Your doctor, upon examination, may order uh, a blood test and he may order a imaging study such as a scrotal ultrasound which will help to determine if there is a suggestion of a testicle cancer. So what's my take-home message or the bottom line? Any unusual signs and symptoms don't necessarily mean that you have testicular cancer. It needs to be checked by your physician. Testicular cancer is the easiest to treat when it is detected early and it is confined to the testicle and hasn't spread to other tissues or other organs. Even if your signs and symptoms are caused by something other than testicular cancer, you may still need treatment. I hope you have found this video useful regarding the testicle self-exam. If you have any additional questions, I'd like to refer you to my website, www.neilbaum.com, or you are welcome to contact my office at 504-891-8454. Thank you.